bike day. Yeah. Pivot or Pivot or Mach 4 SL. Raw. 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 Brand new colorway. That has no paint. Or is it an uncolorway? Because there is no color. It looks like there's just no color on this thing. It's colorless. It looks like carbon in the sun tonight. No. One day. Isn't it called midnight? Midnight. Yeah. We're gonna make it even cooler though today. What's what? Shimano. Gross. SLX and <laughs> some like XT parts. This is the cheapest Mach 4 you could get, but we're gonna be taking cheap and making it probably one of the most expensive bikes on the market. It's today. it's even more expensive than something you can buy from Pivot because we're swapping literally all the suspension out and everything. It's gonna be sick. This is the way I would build it. Trey's vision for this bike and my vision for this bike are in sync here. I'm, yeah, well, I don't. Putting a dropper on it. Who would always do that, but I wouldn't always do that. Well, you can take it out if you don't like it. Yeah, you need a dropper. We're going dropper. This is a 150 mil axis reverb on a large, so I got him the 150. I usually run the 125. That's the only thing that's different. Stock build versus expensive build. First thing we're weighing is the Fox 34. Performance step cast, still a good fork. It's a good fork, but rock shocks will be gooder. <laughs> this weighs 3.59, and then rock shocks Blue boy. weighs significantly less. What if it's heavier? 3.24. Somewhere between a quarter and a half, if you're good at math. We aren't. Found a top cap that we're going to set on the ground. We have probably the coolest bars in the business right now. Robo one piece bar and stem. Control. Robo control. Conveniently Robo named. It controls the bike. So let's do a quick install. Riding brakes on this bike is super chill, actually. It's like the easiest thing. Like, so smooth. You're missing Don't a piece. Don't forget all the pieces. Yeah. There is a weird, like, little rubber piece right there that Pivot uses. To me, that seems like a good idea. It's a good idea. I think it keeps the dirt out of your headset, which is a cool thing to do. Bars on. Match it. Color matched. Color matched. Midnight. It's almost like the same company you, think you that... made it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of... What do you mean? It's fine. There's, there's not a lot of headset showing. We'll put a bolt in it and it'll come, it'll work. Yeah. I think it's okay. This is so tall. Oh, is, is it wide? the stem? What is going on here, Trey? Do you want to put a different stem on it? Yeah, hold this one second. Oh, hold the fork. Grab a zip stem from my drawer. We decided it was too short. It was too short. But we have another fork that just appeared. But this one might appear on eBay or something. Eventually, at some point, that fork will be for sale on eBay. Or you could go to the bicyclestation.com and pick yourself up some stuff. Maybe not that fork anymore because Trey's taking it, but we'll sell it. It, it was for sale we'll sell on it. the website. <laughs> Round two crown race job. Is this the tool for the job? Yeah, that's what I would use. I hate the do actual. The, do the people know that there's a crown race tool? Yeah, but it's, it's like, like this big, don't, I'm never going to use heavy, that tool. And it's got a spinny. It's terrible. And it, it takes longer to set that tool up than it does to use a screwdriver. And Trey's being gentle. This is my fork. So like I would have already just like scratched it up. <laughs> Whoa, dude. I'm bleeding. Blood. This is what happens when you build bikes. Spe specifically yeah. with me, everybody looks like they're bleeding We've after had a rough day. Check out our other pivot build to know why we had a rough day. We had to go buy a hydraulic noisy tool to I build Chase's pit. To Can save it, see? it was like an emergency. There's the line. Definitely cut it there, Trey. The line's up. <laughs> How dull is that blade, Jesus? Oh God. I'd be sweating. They see that? Yeah. They better have HD something television. Longer steer tube. And we're also switching to two piece bar and stem. We're talking about gravel gravel. Gravel gravel. It's the most important race of the year, y'all. The hitters will be there. Yeah, that's all. It's, it's uh. Two tour pros, Gavin Good. <laughs> Uh, Gavin's been in like one or two videos, yeah. Without tool color coordination, I don't think we could actually function as a no, bike shop. because this isn't a four millimeter, this is a yellow That's one. That's the yellow one. <laughs> we know what that means. S-Works. S-Works. 
Looks actually really sick on this bike. S Works carbon control two piece bar. Yeah, we we just found this stuff on the floor. Yeah. Like you do. Like you do at most like bike shops. <laughs> this is probably my favorite part of this build. Got the new zip eye tops <laughs> with blue colorway to match the fork and the shock that we're gonna be putting on there. Bill matches. I'm probably most excited about these wheels because of the tire whiz. It's such a dumb thing that ends up being such a it's important. It's so useful. I think it is useful. I use it every day. Wizzing. We whiz. I was going to buy a different wheel set and then just buy tire whizzes and put them on because you can do that. <laughs> but the tire whizzes are out of stock until like January. So the best way to get them. Only. It's exclusive get, limited edition. You got to get the high tops. Matchy match. Blue on blue. We had to switch the hoses, it wasn't long enough. Nothing's long enough on this bike for Trey. You would think, honestly, most people would look at me and you and think we're the same height, but for some reason we're not. Not even close. We're gonna use the Fox suspension uh, mounting hardware. Yeah. We're gonna put this Sid Lux rear shock on instead of the Fox float that it came with. Purely because, aesthetic. Because it's blue. That's Just like, means blue. like those wheels. We're gonna have the, oh gosh, blue on blue on blue. This is a secret, but the Fox stuff fits the Rock Shock stuff. It's almost like they don't want you to know that. <laughs> I, I've, re, I've used the Fox mounting hardware. Like it's easier just to use what your bike came with, and then like if you need to replace it, replace it at some point. But does Pivot say you can run Fox because none of their or run Rock Shocks because none of their bikes come with Rock Shocks? Actually, yes, they do. They and do. Part of the reason it doesn't come with Rock Shocks is just because they're friends with Fox. They like are located really close to the Fox headquarters. And so they do a lot of R and D together for stuff. But we're friends with RockShox and SRAM. So, <laughs> so we are going to do SRAM pivot. Yeah, I, I, uh, I've seen some other pivots with RockShox before, so I don't think it's that weird. I was just asking you a trick question. I, I didn't know I was getting tricked. Yeah, have you done Leadville? Yeah. When? 2019. 2019. Did you have grit and determination? I think so. Did you persevere through and get a belt buckle? Yeah. For free? For free. Whoa. <laughs> I need to hang it back up. But... Should I put mine in a box like that? I did, I did because I didn't want, I wanted to hang it up, but I didn't want people to like touch it. They can touch the box. Do you think I can do Leadville on this bike? Yeah, I thought that's what the plan was. Oh. With didn't my... they like make it harder to get into the Grand Yeah, they, they told five more people, you're not coming this year. Room. Only 30 were allowed instead of 35. We want everyone to see Pivot's um, design for shipping. Cause we've showed like Trex project one where you like open it up and it's like Apple product unboxing. This is literally how Pivot shipped all of the parts. They come in bags like this bag. That's the saddle. <laughs> I know it was sounded like a joke when I was telling people about the billion dollars of box design, but I wasn't joking. Nope. Yeah. This is uh, what is that? a dropper wrapped up in some stuff. We're just looking for the rear axle right now. What's in there? That has a cassette and rotors and cables. Nice. And no axle. How, de how deep into the box are you gonna have to go? We got some stickers. That's good. Stickers. I like stickers. Everybody loves stickers. This one's heavy. Gotta have some goods in it. Derailer. Derailer. A dropper lever. Oh, baby. Dude. We found what we were looking for. Now we can put the bikes together. Yeah. I finished the hardware swap and now we have a decision. What setting do you want? This bike has two settings. There's like a plus and a minus. We have a plus and a minus to change the rear from like really random numbers, like 107 to 119 I or think, something. Like I think that. most companies just tell you like a rounded number and pivots like, pivots now nah, we're going to be exact it's, about it. But we're going to go with the lower one because I think the first like event I'm going to be doing on this bike is like a straight up gravel race. So less suspension seems good. Plus or minus, is it, that? It comes on the plus, which I would assume. No, plus. that side doesn't move. Oh, yeah, it does. Jeez. Yeah silly goose jeez um i would think minus means less travel so that one's already on minus i put it in minus okay right. good okay on the inside of this side oh this is gonna be difficult no it's not that was almost a success 
Okay, that's probably close. told you that's gonna happen. Okay. Cool. Found my orange boy. We're close to the frame. 13 newton meters. One, two, 13. How are we looking? It looks really it's sick. Almost bicycle like. Blue, black, cool. We've been busy building <laughs> bikes without filming it. We went with uh, a not XXSL transmission crank. We went the old crank because we had it. Well, it's a narrower Q factor. That's like the That's more relevant the reason. reason yeah, okay. we could get an XXSL narrower Q factor crank, but we would have to wait for SRAM to send that. We know we never wait for nobody. <laughs> we just build bikes. Um, Jibs is also helping now. Jibs He's brought us Skittles. That's where the yeah. candy. Jibs is one that did that. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Jibs. Why don't they make this easier to set up, Trey? I think um, they made it and said it was like the easiest thing ever, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, he's a big fan. I've only ever set this up once, so like you're new to the whole thing. I'm literally just sitting here like buckling because he's teaching me the ways. Yeah. When you use the app, it doesn't make sense. If you read the app correctly, it like does it. Correctly. Yeah, it said seven, it's seven, set up. Seven. Set, set up two th cog seven. Yeah, which is which. If you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's one up above what SRAM's video says. Which is the red marked cog. So SRAM's video says we're doing it right, but if you go off of the app, it's wait wrong. a second. Trey. Either that or wait, I can't read. Wait, wait, I just counted one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. But they said count from here in the video. I they said make it in <laughs> this gear and then go up seven times. They did say that in the video. That's what it said in the video. So I'm learning. Yeah. But you have to like tighten and loosen this bolt, <laughs> and tighten and loosen your through axle and count your cogs <laughs> and it's confusing. You just, just have to use the plastic tool. Remember the plastic tool? I loved it. This is what I'm talking about. You just use this and then you just go, like you shove that on the cushion and then tighten the bolt and that's all you need to I do. I guess once everybody learns how to use this. They're gonna change it to something new. You're right. I was just gonna say, <laughs> it's gonna be so easy because then everyone will know what to do, but they're definitely gonna change it. I can't wait for this to be on road bikes. I don't think you'll have to wait very long. Oh, well, I'm just thinking about the nightmare. Like mountain bikers are way more used to like weird stuff. When this gets put on a road bike, you're really gonna have customers getting really messed up with their bike setups. We just, a this, cool, yeah. Cool feature we just found out about pivots because we're brand new to carrying pivots is this top tube was so slanted that even with like a slam stem and we pointed the levers pretty far down, they don't hit the top tube. So if you were to take a little tumble, a little tipsy tumble, your bars won't slam and shatter your top tube in half. Neat. Neat, yeah. Like all my that. all my bikes would break if I crash. I have like a lot of, like a <laughs> hole dug into my other bike, right? Is this how you run your saddles? Some people do. Not me. Um, we just put the saddle on to weigh it. Yeah, so it's built, not completely set up, but like 97%. Yeah, it's getting dark. But Trey's gotta go home. It's nighttime, so we're gonna weigh it because it is fully built and then we'll finish it tomorrow. What, pick it up, what's your guess? Kind of, it feels kind of heavy. I'm gonna guess 24, oh, I 23, think it's, nine. I think it's 23. 23, nine, what I'm gonna go with. We could make it lighter if we tried, but we also oh put this dropper down. <laughs> Like just physically put the dropper down and then wait. Okay, it's like bouncing between 23.9 and 24.1. So I'd say like 24 on the dot. I think it's 23. That's pretty light. For a bike that has actual dual pivot, it's incredibly light. Like a real DW link and not just a flex pivot. Yeah. That's no. pretty light. Pretty light. I'm a big fan. Fan. Let's see how it rides. Yeah, Trey and uh, Chase will be doing uh, pivot stuff. I'm kind of jealous of their pivots, but I have some other cool stuff in the works that I'm gonna be riding. So I didn't want to like have everybody on the same bike. Hit us up if you guys need anything. You want to pivot? I'm so excited about the pivots. <laughs> Probably the coolest mountain biking brand there is. What do you think, Jesse? I think we could say that. Yeah, I think I mean, there's definitely somebody out there, there named Trey, who can say doing that. Mountain bikes, right? I think that they are killing it with what they do. There's some stuff that I 
think could be different on this bike, but I it's not a lot of lot of things. So I'm excited to see what you guys think about it because I'm gonna shut up because I didn't I didn't get one. So the bottom bracket. That was a know. nightmare. I don't know if we're a fan of Preston. I don't know if this video is coming out before Chase's build, but Chase's build had a complete catastrophe. Press fit nightmare. Press fit nightmare um, that I, at first I thought was my fault, but I still am not convinced is actually my fault. I think that the water bottle situation is definitely a compromise due yeah. to the suspension though. That's that's because of the we suspension. We haven't talked about that, but you can't put a water bottle right here. Yeah. I'm gonna do some experimenting. You should do an experimentation video about yeah. what. We're gonna have to figure out what bottle cage or bottles and cage combination is going to actually hold the bottle. Because normally when you put a bottle in this position and hit a bump, the bottle just like ejects out of the I think it would break the cage too. So. I I would love to see a video because a lot of companies are using that upper bolt solution. So I would love to see some testing we, on that. Can we get every company to send us a free bottle cage and I'll test it for them? Yeah, whatever is the best cage wins. I do appreciate how easy cable riding on this bike is. I think it's pretty dialed. It's really sick. Pretty Maybe sick. I'll end up with one. See, I like think it. it's gonna ride exceptionally well. Yeah. But we'll find out. All right, buy stuff from us. Thanks, y'all. We're gonna go home. TheBicyclestation.com. Right now, buy something, please. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.